Hey guys, so today I got this phone case right here that I wanted to show you how to bling out. So, I am going to be using E6000 today to bling on my rhinestones. And these are the ones I'm going to be using. It's from the brand Bead and it was $17.99 but of course at Hobby Lobby, that is where I got them from. Um, There's always discounts and it was 50% off. So, this is how they look. I also got this glitter right here that I am also going to be using. And these little buttons I got at Walmart. I'm going to show you how to use them also. And some leftover mix from the cup I did. If you guys have seen that video. And some more little tiny rhinestones. So, of course, we are going to begin by filing down our surface. Because we want to make sure that glue stays on with those rhinestones so as you guys can see i am actually using a nail file that can be sometimes easier to use than you know regular file paper so that's what i like to use sometimes so i did go ahead and put some e6000 glue on a little piece of paper and i went on ahead and put my glitter in it yes i'm putting glitter in the e6000 glue and I am mixing it together. So now that I am done mixing my E6000 glue with the glitter, I am going to go ahead and apply it to the foam case. Only on the areas that I am going to bling out. That's very important. Do not put it all over the case. Just on the areas that you want to bedazzle. And of course, also remember to work by sections because you don't want your glue to dry out on you. That is very important. And of course, I totally forgot to clip my buttons. So this is what I'm going to do. I got my wire cutting pliers and I'm going to cut off the back part that is for the buttons. So it's just going to be flat in the back now. So go ahead and cut those out before you start mixing your glue with your glitter. In this case, I forgot. So now that's done. I got my big rhinestones. I love how big they are and chunky by the way these are acrylic rhinestones they're not glass they're on the cheaper side but i'm not worried about that it's up to you if you guys want to go you know for the glass rhinestones like i said these are acrylic so i am going ahead and applying my rhinestones my little buttons where i want them to be spread out not on top of each other I am making sure they are flat onto the case and I am using smaller rhinestones to fill in my gaps. So there you go. I did my first section as you can see with the chunky rhinestones. And now I am going to go ahead and fill in those smaller gaps with the mix left over from the cup i did the ombre cup that is the same mix so just because you made a mix for a certain project and you have some left over doesn't mean you don't have to use it you know always use your leftovers there's always so many things you can do with rhinestones so use them like i am doing here don't waste your rhinestones don't throw them away don't you know just store them away because you think you're never gonna use them again there's always something to use them for like i am doing right here and also if you guys are asking why i put glitter in my e6000 it's because since i am using a clear case i wanted to give it some color so since i did use that leftover purple mix that's why i chose a purple glitter and the silver glitter that glitter is super, super fine. It's not chunky glitter. And that's why it works well. Because it does not interfere with the glue. So, this is how the case is looking so far. I went on ahead and mixed some more E6000 with more glitter. Trying to put the same amount of glitter like I did in the first section that I did for the phone case. And now, since I am working in a bigger area, I did go ahead and get a popsicle stick to spread out the glue onto the phone case. Make sure your glue is spread out nice and evenly across your area. 
Remember, only placing the glue on the areas you are going to bling out. So now that my glue is nice and evenly spread out, I am going to go ahead and place my buttons where I want them to be. As you can see, I did not end up using all of them, but that's fine. I can use that for another project. And I am going to go ahead and finish placing my rhinestones where I want them to be. Be careful also when you are placing your rhinestones or you know whatever it is you want to put on your case. Um, make sure it's not overlapping the edge of the case because that will be more likely for them to get stuck on something or you know fall off and you don't want that. So just double check on that. With the E6000 glue, it does give you enough time. If you don't like something, you can take it off, replace it, or move stuff around, you know? So, that's why I also like this glue. So, as you can see here, I don't have that much space for my big chunky rhinestones anymore. So, I'm going to go ahead and start placing some of the smaller ones. So these rhinestones are actually also acrylic and I did also get on my Hobby Lobby. Now this is my Love Silver Mix and these are pearls with glass rhinestones. So I'm just going over, filling in my tiny little gaps, making sure everything is nice and filled. So real quick, just another little thing to note um, was that like I told you guys, these chunky rhinestones were on the cheaper side. Which the glue actually started eating a little bit. I don't know if you guys understand me. But that's why it looks glittery. Um, I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, so as you can see here, I did add a little bit more glue on the back of the buttons. Just to make sure they're secure. So these are my final results guys. And as you can see how the rhinestones look a little bit glittery. That's what I mean when it was like eating it. You know how the rhinestones have like a little thin layer in the back. Like a little gray part. It cracked a little bit. And that's why it looked glittery, which I actually liked. So I was fine with the results. And I've been having this case for about two weeks and everything has been just like this. It stayed glittery, but it's optional if you guys want to use glass or acrylic. Just a little heads up of what could happen to you. But overall, I loved how it came out. So like always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you guys in the next video.